Okay, I'm uh, working on the little flashings that are going to go on, that are going to go on the side of my uh, radiator, and I've got one done and cleaned up and uh, put in place just to see how it's going to look, and that's about what it's going to look like. I'm debating on whether to uh, radius this outside edge here, this corner, on the corners on it. Uh, I did put a, a radius in the inside. I kind of wish I'd left my plates just a tad shorter so that that would be in under the tank. Uh, I could go with an end mill and cut it away to move them in, and I might just do that uh, yet, so that that sits flush with the, the with the with actually sitting flush right now, but with the corners not being a big radius like the tank it kind of looks out of place so the best way would be to clamp it up and run an end mill along the side here or I could leave it like it is and try to picture it painted black on top you know what, I think I might just leave it. I might put a dab of a dab of body putty down on this radius here to lessen that radius. That way it won't be so obvious. Anyway, uh, that's what it's looking like. I've got to make another one for the other side. And uh, then I will uh, clean everything up one final time and mask off where I don't want to paint. I think I am going to go with, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember who, who had suggested just leaving the fins, but I was thinking the on the, along the same line of leaving just the uh, cooling fins alone and just painting the tanks and that's, and plus the um, two flashings on the side. So, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'll probably polish up these fins a little bit too and give them a little bit of shine and I think it should look all right and then then it'll be going after this radiator cap that I'm going to put in here um, I'd say I want to make it so that it's spring loaded so that you push it down the pins will go down these slots right here in the side I don't know if you can see that or not but but the pins will go down uh, in the cap will go down the side and then give it a quarter turn and they'll go up into a notch over here and it'll be like I say it'll be a really light spring so that when it does build up pressure it can blow off and then go out the uh, um, overflow tube I see it's already rusted and I had filled it up just to check to make sure there were no leaks and I filled it up and and uh, let it sit for a day and wasn't a drop leaking anywhere so I got lucky <laughs> with the soldering so um, I'm kind of wishing I wouldn't have put the putty on there lessening those uh, the silver solder joints but that I don't know we'll, like I say I'll see what it looks like when it's painted so anyway that's where I'm at and uh, I'm going to play around a little bit more in the shop today and then uh, I'll check back in when I uh, get the other side uh, done and when I get it painted I'll, and I'll give you a, guys a, a quick look at it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.